And I'll tell you something I think that people need to understand is, you know, you can be the the hardest worker because I, I like and my dad could outwork three men. And I've tr- that work, I think I've tried to pass on to the boys. You can be the best businessman. You could do the best strategy planning. I mean, Stephen here, nobody could do more spreadsheets. We always get him, but yeah. like scheduling, get everything right. And weather, Mother Nature controls, can, it, controls all. it all. Yep. And you can lose everything. Like, and, and people are like, "Oh, they were out." And then they, of course, the judgments would come real quick. Oh, now they look at the. They Detroit, party they too drive. much. That's they why party they too didn't. much. Yeah. Oh no! I put anybody. I will work against any man. Put yeah. me. Put him out here with me. I, I promise you. I will. I will work side by side with anybody as hard as they work. So you can do everything right. And in this industry, in this space, so when people are talking about where they're and they're they're get buying food from like these conglomerates, these big four meat companies, and we're talking about support your local farm and ranch, you know, you can sp- knowing where that food came from, how it was raised, the practices that we do here on the ranch, pay the extra dollar. It may not not because not only are you helping support that so that you're not dependent, but the health of where you could buy ground beef from the store right now, it could be from forty different cows across twenty you know, different countries. Twenty different countries, yeah. yeah, blended together. What are you eating? But everyone's like, I want to eat healthy. Do you really though? Mm-hmm. No, you're going to be eating a bunch of medicine when you're you know fifty five or sixty because you look at these countries that eat good food like Italy, and you look at they don't have a health crisis, you know, mm-hmm. and you know we're we're I think we're very fortunate in our area. So we've got a huge Amish community right here next to us. Jamesport, a bunch of my buddies. Got a Mennonite community down south, right, 10 yep. minutes south mm-hmm. down here. And got a Heterite community right up here on K. So we're we're surrounded by people that take care of their self. Mm-hmm. I mean, you'd be amazed what a half-acre garden could grow, what mm-hmm. it could support for three families, for, I mean, a quarter-acre garden. And mm-hmm. when we're talking about what we do, you know, eat that eating healthy now so that when you're older, I mean, you're not the pharmaceutical companies just feeding you medicine all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think it's important for customers as well because we talk about uh, humane and ethical raising of animals. If you look at the the big monopolized companies that are doing this, to them, they're just numbers on a spreadsheet. To a farmer and rancher, that cow, that pig, you know, those chickens, whatever it may be, that herd, that is their livelihood. And so they care yeah. about those animals as if they were a family member. Those crops as if they were a family member. Those animals comes first, or those animals come first before anything else in their life. You know, it doesn't matter. And I love this line from Yellowstone. It's so true. And it's Beth Dutton that says it. And it's like, it doesn't matter what you got going on in your life. They still got to eat. You could have a party planned. You could have uh, something, a personal crisis breaking down. But guess what? Those animals still got to eat. So your butt still has to be out there taking care of them.